Hi everyone. Today we are going to review the flight from Zurich to Bangkok LX180 on Swiss Airline on business class. I got these tickets buy one get one free from Swiss deals. Today we're going to talk about the lounge, the flight time, duration, the in-flight service, and the amenities. I reviewed this route before from Zurich to Bangkok, but it was on the Emirates. Please look for a link in the description. Okay, you might wonder how did I score this deal? Blah, blah, blah. It is a Valentine promotion. I bought this ticket way, way, way in advance. Uh, well, during the Valentine's promotion, but we flew in December. Go to Swiss.com and all the way at the bottom you will see newsletter. So subscribe to that, and you will get all kind of deals when they have it. Okay, some tips on getting cheap ticket. Just subscribe to a newsletter, purchase way ahead of time, and you should be flexible on your dates. Once you subscribe to the newsletter, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. <laughs> At Zurich Airport, the check-in for Swiss Air is check-in one, and the business class is all the way to the end. There is a priority lane for business and first for departure. The security line today is not busy. Even for the economy, is actually quite good. You know, every time we come here, it's never busy. This airport is just like that. It becomes the norm now that you have to go through duty free before getting into the gate. I guess just like that everywhere in the world now. The Thai sales lady at the duty free spotted me right away. Are you Thai? Because if you are, you need to apply for this because you're gonna get 10% discount. We took up on her offer and got 10% discount on the two bottle of wines that we bought. The gate today is in Zone E, which is for all the international flights. And before getting there, you have to pass a uh, passport control. The weather is not great today; it's about minus one degree Celsius, and there's some snow and some light shower all together. The passport control here is also very quick and effective. There. Are Uh, EU lines, and then there's the line for all passports, which is what we took. After immigration, you have to take this little train uh, to Terminal E. The train comes every two minutes, so you don't need to rush. It always comes. <laughs> It takes less than two minutes to get to uh, Terminal E. There is a light entertainment. Uh, within these two minutes on a train, it's actually quite cute. So, watch out for it. I've been to many airports around the world, and I have to give it to Zurich Airport in Terminal E. It's the place that it's always got it together. It's never rushed, and it's nice and calm, and everything is in order, like it should be. There are many lounges in Terminal E, and Swiss Air has two lounges, one for business and one for first. Today we're gonna go to business lounge, which is on the third floor. If you are a Star Alliance go, then you get to use a Standard Lounge, which is the premium lounge of Swiss Air. Standard Lounge here is quite premium. It's very spacious and. The bar here is fully, fully stocked, and all kind of drinks for you to choose from. One thing I wish it could be done better is food. What the hell is this? <laughs> the food is very boring and blah. There are sleeping pods if you want to take a quick nap or want to have some a little bit more privacy. A whole lounge is nicely decorated, very Swissy. I think the most famous thing at this lounge is whiskey club. Oh my god, there are tons and tons of whiskey for you to try. The lady at the counter told me that there are about three, four hundred bottles for you to try. For whiskey fans out there, this is a heaven for you. Sadly, Dennis and I are not whiskey fan, but 
we asked the lady, "Is there something we can try?" So she gave us Jack Daniel Tennessee Honey, which is very easy to drink and it actually tastes like honey. Okay, let's give it a try. It smells and tastes very good. Actually, it tastes like a cocktail and very fragrant as well. I imagine bitter and hard to drink, but that's not the case. And we have a delay. <laughs> After 30 minutes and a bit tipsy, we get to board. Finally, the aircraft today is Boeing 777. My seat is 17B, and then is 17A. The flight time today is about 10 hours, and it is a night flight. Take off around 7 p.m. and we land in Bangkok around、uh, 11. I love night flight, which is the opposite of Bangkok Zurich flight on Swiss, which is a day flight. Oh my god, that flight! You will feel like that you didn't sleep for a whole night. I have the video of that flight. Please check it out. We had champagne for our welcome drinks, and the most exciting part for me is what is in this Victorinox goodie bag. So we have. Toothpaste, socks, red socks. I love red socks. <laughs> And this is a sleeping mask, blindfold when you sleep. It's a night flight, so you need that. And toothbrush. And when you reverse this bag, it become a bigger bag. Oh my god, genius! We can reuse it. You can put your socks and underwear on your little carry-on, so not everything, you know. Mix up together in your luggage. There is a headset, and this is a remote control. There, you can touch on the screen. Let's see what kind of movies I have today. Or you can just touch it on the TV screen. There's actually a good variety of movies. There are two menus: one for dinner and one for breakfast. There are not that many options on dinner menu, or may I say, compact. <laughs> I think the drinks option is a little more exciting to me. <laughs> for breakfast, there are tons and tons of options. But well, you know, breakfast there are small things. You need to check、uh, what you would like to have, and you also need to check if you want to be woken up in the morning. After taxiing for a bit, and literally just before the flight is taking off, we were told by the captain that we will take 30 minutes break. Well, not break, but de-icing because it's not safe to fly right now. Well, this is the first for me. This never happened. I'm glad to witness the procedure, though. I don't know what's this. It looks like water plus some chemical to make sure that the ice melts, and then we can fly safely. Well, you know me, safety first. I don't mind waiting for 30 minutes, knowing that I'll be safe landing in Bangkok and having my fabulous vacation. After the icing is done, we were taking off. It's actually a little scary. The weather is really bad. You can barely see anything while we took off. Woo! Once we reached the flying altitude, the in-flight service started. We started with some nuts and, of course, more champagne. Champagne for everyone. Hello. <laughs> While waiting for my dinner to be served, I watched this movie for a hundred million times. <laughs> I don't know. I love it. Sense and sensibility. Denise and I sat on the last row of business class, so all the service come last. That's why you have movie to watch. Well, the good thing is more champagne before meal, <laughs> and together with white wine, why not? Oh, and red wine too! <laughs> How classy! The appetizer that I order is tuna. It comes with cheese and some bread. And my wine before main course. <laughs> We both order a steak for main course. It comes with、uh, pasta and beans. 
All right, the stomach is full and quite drunk by now. Then he's getting ready to adjust his seat to be a bed, which you know you can lie 180 degree flat. We both managed to have a good sleep in flight. Hello, whiskey and tons of wine and champagne. And now we're in half before landing, which is about、um, 11 a.m. in Bangkok. I peek at the window. Oh my god, it is so bright. Well, no more snow. I love it. No more snow. It's clear sky. I love it. Thailand. Here I come. The breakfast was served. Whatever you order, earlier, ten hours or so later, we are landing in Suwonpumi Airport. How do we do here? I'm gonna give an A for airport and lounge, an A for flight time because I love my flight. A for duration, ten hours, no transfer, love it. A B for in-flight service. I think some other airline has a little better service. B for food and drink because the menu is a little small and quite compact, and B for seat and amenities. I think、uh, some of those Middle Eastern airlines seats are more comfortable and there are more movies. Please let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree with my ratings. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and if you really, really love this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, smash that button, and I'll see you next time. Afidazine and goodbye.